Hi. I wasn't sure whether I was on or not. But uh, this is Shirley from Shirley's World, or I should say uh, Rockford Trading Company. That's the name of my eBay business. So uh, I went to Goodwill. Today it's Friday. I always go on uh, Fridays if I've gotten through the previous Friday's things. Uh, so I went this morning. I was there at 9.30. It's the earliest I've been there. And I got uh, a whole cartload of things and ended up to be uh, $99.30, almost $100. But I had some points left from my uh, previous visit, so that gave me another 35% off coupon. So I went there with a 35% off coupon that I could that I use when I don't get the things that are half price. So everything is either half off of the price or 35% off. So it's pretty good. I got I added them up. I got 42 things for that amount, which means each thing costs $2.36 if you figure it that way. So I uh, came home. I had to come home and get ready to go to the barn. So I couldn't do this video uh, right away. But I didn't want to leave everything in the bags to get even more wrinkled than they are. You know, the girls uh, that check you out, they just, they're in, they're in a hurry because there's a line usually. And they're just stuffing things in the bag, you know. So... Uh, you can't leave them in the bags too long. So I got things out of the bag and sort of uh, put them in, folded them and put them in these bins here that are sitting. And I hung up a few things, which I'll show you uh, at the end. So I've also had a good sales day today. I've sold uh, eight or nine things already, one of them being a men's suit. So I'm going to have at least a... Uh, it's up to around $200 so far, hoping to sell a few more things this evening. But <clears throat> let's see. I have uh, just three more things. If you can see back there, those uh, three pairs of jeans, they're all photographed and bagged and ready to list. I just have to list those three more, and I have no piles of things to do except my new stuff. So... Let me start and show you what I got. Uh, I got a lot of pants. When I was uh, putting these out, I didn't realize how many pants I got. But this is a, was a good deal. These are, these are brown, which you can see here. And they're new with tags. And they're Cold Water Creek, size 12. And they retail for... $69.50. And they're sort of that brushed uh, fabric that feels like suede. It's not suede. It's polyester, but it's uh, polyester and cotton. But it feels, it's that soft fabric. Uh, so it's a nice pair of uh, like dress pants, work pants that you can wear to your job. <coughs> And I got a pair of gray corduroys. These were half price uh, by Talbots in a 12 long gray corduroy. And I've been selling, I've, I've sold a couple pair of corduroy pants in the last week. So, a charcoal gray. I also have to tell you, I got my, uh, I ordered a steamer. I got my steamer today. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. But uh, it's by Pure, P-U-R, Pure Steam. So I hope it works. Uh, it had four and a half stars. I read the, uh, you know, the customer reviews about it. And, uh most of them, of course, were good, but there are the ones that uh, gave them one or two, gave it one or two stars. Said it just doesn't hold enough water, and you have to refill 
you can only do like one piece of clothing at a time and you have to refill, which is okay. I'm not going to do a huge amount of things. I just want it to uh, work so that I don't have to iron all the time. You know, if I can just get a few wrinkles out of uh, like, I don't know, men's shirts or whatever. The one, uh, the one sport coat I got, I'll show you, it's linen and cotton. And of course, even being bagged for the amount of time it took me to get home, it has wrinkles in. So that's going to be a good one to try this on. So, let me continue here. Uh, a pair of, I've been selling capris like crazy. So, I looked at the capris for sure. And this is, I didn't look up this brand, I have no idea. But it's a nice pair of pants. It's by Westport. And it's a size uh, woman's 20. And it has a stretchy waistband. And it has, they're just plain except for the, at the bottom on the leg openings. Uh, they have these cute buttons. So I thought those were nice. Uh, nice pair of capris. <clears throat> Looking forward to summer. And here's another pair of uh, capris by, I think these were the Nike ones. Yeah, Nike. This is in a small. Nice and white. No stains or dirt or anything. And the bottoms are cuffed like that. And, and back flat pockets. Those snap. Those are snap snaps. It has a little tie too that you can make the waist tighter. And then I saw this in the, actually this was in the children's department. It was in the wrong place because this is a woman's, uh, a woman's medium. No, a woman's small. So, no, woman's medium. And it's a, one of those life is good uh, shirts. And it's a little umbrella chair. And the little life is good guy on the back. So it's pink. And they they always sell. They all they have a uh, they always have a tag on that says do what you like, like what you do. So good advice. <clears throat> and I saw this uh, on a rack they were just bringing out. So, of course, this wasn't half off. This was 35% uh, off. This is by Torrid, <clears throat> a good brand. And this is a size 3. And uh, they size differently like Chico sizes. So this is a bigger size. It's a black and white uh, plaid. This is real soft. It's rayon. So that's nice for summer. Long sleeve. And towards a good brain. So, and this is a little uh, mini skirt in a size, what size is this? A size eight. No, wait, this could be a skirt. This is a skirt. It has shorts underneath there. <clears throat> And the, t the belt is like a rope. So I thought those were cute. A little beige mini skirt, skirt. And here is a uh, sweater by Chico's. Now this is, a, they size like that too, like Torrid. This is size one, so this is small. This is a small sweater. But it's one of those that have, uh, it just drapes down like an open cardigan, I think they call them. But it's a pretty color. And it's uh has around the hem, it's sort of full, has like a roughly hem also. Then yeah, this was on the rack coming out too, and this is a men's large tall. Uh, Carhartt heavy flannel shirt. That's <clears throat> so a really good size and a really nice shirt. 
for guys, you know, when it gets cold. So that should go, that should be, go for at least like $24 or so. <clears throat> and another pair of brown pants. This pair is uh, a pair of Lee Comfort bands, Comfort waistband. They're not jeans, they're pants, cotton pants and brown. But, um, uh, Tried not to get too many jeans. Although I'm really fast at photographing jeans now. I know exactly what, uh, where, how to lay them. I flat lay the jeans to photograph them. I know exactly uh, the steps each, each uh, way I lay them. I do the same thing with each jean. And it go, goes pretty fast. Here is an older uh, Tommy Hilfiger shirt. It has the bigger, the bigger label inside, which means it's older. The labels now are just sort of, they're shaped like this top thing here. It says where it's made. Uh, but the Tommy Hilfiger is just about that big now, instead of this square or rectangular label. So this is an older one. And uh, it has a crest on it, and it has, is a size extra, extra large. Which I imagine this has probably shrunk a little bit because it's not really huge because it's 100% cotton. So it's probably, probably uh, maybe an extra large now. <laughs> you have to take that. I, I, you know, a lot of people, they don't read. You go through all this trouble of measuring things and everything, and they'll send things back because they didn't fit. I've had a couple things return because they didn't fit. Well, because they just saw the tag, and they bought the item, and they didn't look at the measurements. But unused uh, things that have been washed, uh, and especially made of cotton, you have to look at the measurements. Because things change. This is a real soft uh, shirt. What's this made of? It's by Zenana Z Z Outfitters. I, I've never heard of that either. Zenana in a large. It's pretty fitted. It's a pretty fitted shirt. But uh, I like blue and white stripes, so I got it. I'll have to look it up and do some uh, investigating so I know what price to put on that. I like it. And this just stood out on the rack because it's so white. It's a Nautico sweater, cotton sweater. It's a large. And it's it's a really nice looking sweater. It has the navy blue sailboat on it here, and navy blue right around the uh, edge of the uh, collar, and around the bottom. And uh, it's really clean and nice looking. So I picked that up. It wasn't half price, so it was thirty five percent off. But it's a really nice sweater, so I got it. Then I saw these. Uh, these, I think, no, these weren't half price either. Uh, but they're J. Crew. These are cotton men's J. Crew lightweight pants in a 34 34. And they're this, they're not white, they're blue. It doesn't show up, they're a light blue. Be nice for golfing, but I uh, have those kind of pockets in the back, but that's a really good brand to sell, so I got them. I wanted to get a few different things this time. 
So that's the first stack. Now I can stack these in that bin. <coughs> and then I got a women's pair of these pants. Or right, these are capris or cutoffs, if you want to call them that. Dockers, women, size 10 in a turquoise. Or aqua caprice. I chose to wear caprice. I have a lot of them that would fit me here. Uh, here's a white pair of caprice by Lands End. Lands End. And these are size 10. They would fit me. Just a hem, a wide hem. And buttons on the back pockets. And here is a pair of, this is a, here's the mini skirt that I thought the other one was. By C A T O Cato in a size 16 women's, and it has it has this tie for the belt. It's in the pocket. <clears throat> so that's the back of them. It's just a little mini skirt. And actually, this fabric, if you can see it there, it looks sort of almost like that parachute material. <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see. Oop. Here's another J. Crew uh, in an extra large. This is a heavy wool, 100% wool, charcoal gray sweater. And this is in an extra large. It's not real long. But it doesn't feel like it's been shrunk, though. Because the sleeves are long. So, let's see. I don't know what the instructions are. I'm sure this is supposed to be dry cleaned. Yep, dry clean only. That keeps people from buying things sometimes. But if you love to be warm, wool is the thing. <laughs> and it's this is soft. It's not merino wool, but it's still soft. <clears throat> and here is a uh, polo by Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren, however you say it. And it's an extra large. And this is super soft. I had to look really to make sure it wasn't cashmere. That's how soft this is. It is Pima cotton, P I M A. That's the best cotton that you can have. And it has the uh, navy blue pony on it. And just a, it's sort of a greenish gray, you know, that, that sort of olive gray color. Men's extra large. And another pair of capris. These are Lee Easy Fit. I I sold a pair of uh, navy blue ones just like these. They have that stretch waistband. And uh, they have uh, these aren't tabs that you can button and unbutton. There's there tack there but uh, back is like that so, thanks for summer. I think I'm through with the capris I think I don't know maybe not here's another polo polo golf this is a uh, it's a navy blue label I think and it has the yellow pony on it. It's just a blue and yellow golfing shirt and a 
polo shirt. I found one uh, pearl snap shirt. Uh, and it's a short sleeve one. And it's in a medium, I think. Oh no, I'm not sure what size this is because it's uh, from Saddle King Western. But this tag that probably had all the other information on it, I mean the fabric and the size, is completely washed out. So it says nothing on it. So uh, what I do is I try the things on and I'll see. I'm pretty sure this is a men's. It was in the men's department, which doesn't mean anything especially, but uh, this could be a small man's or it could be a large women's. But just from this, I don't know. I'll have to see. Either way, it's a nice uh, plaid with the pearl snaps on it. And I got this pair of uh, women's running shorts by RBX, extra large. And they're this uh, really bright, bright coral color. Sort of does funny things with the light, doesn't it? <laughs> but there's a pair of uh, stretchy shorts underneath it. You know, like compression shorts. So there's the front, and the back is like that. So a nice pair of running shorts. <clears throat> FBX or RBX. I didn't look that up yet, so but I really like the color. <clears throat> I got a couple bathing suits. This one is. A one piece and it's these are both I think both large sizes this is by um, Lake Lake Hove L E C O V E and it is a size 18 one piece And the other one is this black and white one. This is half price. And it is a size 10, I'm not a large. This is size 10. Just a black, uh, black and white one piece bathing suit with a uh, strap around the neck. It's all black in the back. Sort of draped, draped across the midriff and the stomach where you need a little draping sometimes. <clears throat> I got another pair of sandals. That pair of sandals I showed in my last video, they're sold already. I have to box them up tonight. Those Columbia sandals. So I got another beige pair of sandals. These are by Coral Bay. I thought they were they were pretty, pretty. I don't think this is maybe it's yes. This is leather. These are all leather. Yep, which is good. And they are a size seven and a half medium. And they don't look hardly worn at all. I'll just use a little bit uh, dirty right up here, but a little. Uh, Swipe of uh, those things that come in the tube. What are they called? Like uh, Clorox wipes or something. I just wipe them off with that, and it'll they come right off. The soles don't look uh, hardly worn. I mean, they've been worn, but not very much. <clears throat> and here's a uh, exercise top. Women's Nike, and this is a size medium. It has a bra lining thing in in the inside, it's the top. 
if this was orange, it would go with those shorts, but of course it's not the same size. <clears throat> and here is a Ralph Lauren Sport in a large, a striped uh, women's, but this is, this is small for a large. So it'd be pretty fitted. And we have a pair of board shorts here. Uh, I looked and looked for the tag, and you know, this brand hides their tags, and sometimes they don't have a tag exactly, or I may still find it. But it has a little thing on the back that tells me this is Quicksilver, and also they write it here, which is hard to read, but that says Quicksilver. So this is a, I have to look, measure for the size if I can't find a tag. But uh, they're pretty large, pair of board shorts. Uh, no netting inside, so they're just, they're not swim trunks. <laughs> All right, let me see here. It's over here. I want to show you this. This pair of board shorts uh, came back today. Uh, I refunded their money. Uh, they they said that the item was not as described, which I couldn't understand what why they weren't as described. I mean, there's tons of pictures of this pair of board shorts. But when I got back, he had put a little tag right here. See, there's a V cut out of the leg here that I didn't catch. It's not ripping or anything. These are like ripstop fabric, you know. But it is a uh, flaw. So I will uh, put these on again and uh, take pictures of that. And you know, put right about it. Because they are a, a nice pair of Nike board shorts. So that's why those came back. Uh, here's a pair of uh, Levi women's boot cut 527. Uh, jeans in a size what They're pretty small looking yeah. oh these are these are men's I guess 29 30 they're small man's waist or if you could fit in them they can be a women's let's see let's look on that chart about Levi's and see what, what this number is 527. Remember, I had that uh, thing all about Levi's here. Five twenty-seven, low, low boot cut, men's. So these are men's. They're low rise, a low rise, and a boot cut. So there you go. I have five bins. I'm just starting my fifth bin of women's jeans. I have one bin that's not even full yet of men's jeans. <laughs> so that's that's the difference in how much uh, how many women's I buy compared to men's jeans. So these are women's because they're size 12 and these are Levi and these they're curvy uh, boot curvy boot cut. 529. I know these are women's. I've had this size before, these uh, same jeans before. But this fabric isn't your normal denim. This is a lighter, lighter weight uh, denim. So, uh, yep, yeah, Levi's. Levi's so good. And here is a nice dark pair. 
well, dark. They're black. That's about as dark as you can get. Dark uh, or black uh, boot cut Nouveau 515 Levi's. And they're size 10 long. They're just plain, plain black, plain pockets in the back. But uh, they're nice, they're long, and they are uh, black denim silk. Good. Here's a pair of Levi's perfectly slimming boot cut 512. They have so many numbers on their jeans and they all have different fits. So this is a 12 short. That was a 12 long, this is a 12 short. Uh, perfectly slimming jeans. And they have those flat pockets with the buttons in the back. <clears throat> Getting toward the bottom. A pair of capris by Dockers. Just beige, very plain beige. Just a couple buttons there, a couple buttons in the back pockets. Really. Uh, plain. They are size eight petite by Dockers. And a black pair of capris. I've never had a black pair. And these are by Dockers also. Mid rise, mid rise curvy. Probably can't see that in a size eight. And these have, uh, they're like clam diggers. They have the ties, the ties at the bottom that you can tie up, tie the leg up to uh, hold it up, like uh, clam diggers have. Or you can let them out and the, the legs are wider. That's, that's a back. They have a pocket on the one leg too. And a red pair by Ann Taylor Loft, size eight. These are full uh, length pants, red cotton pants by Loft, Ann Taylor Loft. If I was young, I'd wear red pants. They're nice, they're lightweight uh, cotton. They must appeal to me because I have about I've bought about four pairs of red pants in the last couple months. <laughs> oh dear. Oh these are a pair of bullhead black. I mean they're not black, they're jeans, they're denim, blue denims, but the label is called it's their black label. Bullhead in a junior's a seven uh, regular. So these are real small little jeans. Look how tiny they look. <laughs> and this is this is the pockets in the back. They're, they're quite skinny. This this these spots, I have to look at these more carefully. I don't know if that's uh little paint spots or I don't think it's bleach. I'll have to try to get those out. If not, I'll just sh take a picture of them and show them. But uh, a little size, seven regular. I think I wore seven once for about a week. <laughs> when I was really in high school, probably. Uh, Here's a pair of Lee relaxed straight leg and at the waist. And they are a size six medium and a black jean. They're just plain, plain pockets. 
but they're black. Alaska denim jeans, straight leg. And that is all in my, we're in my bins. Now I will I want to show you what I have hung up over here. So hold on a second, I'll bring it over. <clears throat> First, I'll show you the uh, uh, two shirts. I got one gray Brooks Brothers, uh, non-iron and a slim fit, and a big size 17 neck, 36, 37 uh, arm. So that's a pretty big size. Yesterday, I listed, let me show you this first. I got this, uh, this is by Riders by Lee, extra, extra large women's uh, cotton. It's in a denim color, but it's a cotton uh, shirt. Nice cotton shirt. But I had, I don't know if you remember, I had that huge shirt, men's shirt. Uh, it was the biggest size I had ever seen, size 22 neck. Sleeves were huge, were really long. It was a huge, it was just a lot of material. <laughs> but it sold immediately as soon as I put it on. It sold. It's one of the things I have to uh, get and bag up to ship out tomorrow morning. Yeah, so that goes to prove those strange big sizes. Big sizes sell well and even kind of. Uh, Sizes that aren't things that you wouldn't think uh, would sell, like like a big big shirts with short arms or or big jacket suit jacket with short pants. You know, there's somebody out there for everything, and just hopefully they're shopping on eBay. Let me show you the suit I got. Now, thinking of summer. Thinking of summer, uh, here is a uh, window pane, which is one of the things that are really in style right now. Window pane uh, beige, and it's by Michael Kors. Michael Kors. And I think it's a 46 regular, no, 44 regular. So it's a pretty common size. And there's the pants. And uh, the pants, they do have, I could fix these myself, but I don't know whether to do that or not, because it's just, there's a, there's a split in the seam right on the fanny. Uh, it's just about this long. It's right along the stitch, where the stitches just came out. So I don't know whether just to fix it myself or to just to put it on, you know, tell, say about it and uh, sell it like it is, but I'll have to see how much that'll go for. And here's the linen one. Let's see how wrinkled it is. I'm going to try to steam this. This will be my test fabric. Uh, this is by who? <clears throat> this is by Banana Republic, oh yeah, classic fit, size 42, regular. So it's a summer linen and cotton um, sport coat. And we'll see how the wrinkles come out. I'll let you know how my steamer works. So that's what I got today. And... Uh, Tomorrow I may go to, I have to get all this organized and ready to photograph. And then I may go tomorrow to the other Goodwill in Brunswick, uh, the other one that's closest to me. And if I do, I'll have another haul video tomorrow. So my daughter rode her horse today again, and he was real good. And my horses are doing well. Preacher's all recovered from his little bout of uh, mild colic. So, 
hopefully things stay uh, peaceful at the barn. So I'm going to close for now, and I may see you again tomorrow. So, <clears throat> bye. Bye, Sue.